if you're looking to see where the life can exist, there are four things that you need. Yeah. You need liquid water. Mm -hmm. You need a heat source of some kind. You need organic material. And then you need those first three ingredients to be stable enough over a long enough period of time that something can actually happen. But I think for me, probably one of the most important realizations planetary scientists have come to in the last 15 to 20 years is the fact that if you're looking for liquid water in our solar system, you don't have to look close to the sun. Mm. You can look much further away from the sun in the outer planets, but it's not on the surface, it's underneath the surface. Yes, yeah, so even though you basically it's really far away and not getting much of the sun's heat, that's not necessarily required to create liquid water. That's right. And there's a ball lying here. There is a here, ball, just conveniently just I will there. make use of. So <laughs> what we think is happening at the three moons that we're going to is that as they orbit around Jupiter, their orbit is not quite circular. Mm -hmm. And so at times they're closer to Jupiter and its gravitational field than on others. And when they're closer, the moon gets squeezed a bit. Right. And so as it's orbiting around, it gets squeezed at different rates as it's going around. And that's helping keep the interior molten. Because of this movement. Kind because, of of the, because of the movement mm -hmm. of the moon under the effect of the gravitational field of Jupiter.